Hello my dear friends, today I'm talking about Jupiter's transit in Gemini and its impact for each ascendant. The transit will start on 26th of May 2024 and will be finished at 10 June 2025. With the Jupiter in air sign, we are mentally adventurous, prepared and eager to learn in a mind expression mode and less attached to our values than others, as we are generally quite impartial and open-minded. We are capable of seeing many sides of an argument. Specifically, with Jupiter and Gemini, we attract the greatest luck when we use our intelligence and ingenuity. We are versatile, sociable, curious, and engage others with genuine friendship and curiosity. During this cycle, we place a strong emphasis and value on intellect. We see opportunities for growth and success through intellectual, verbal, and written channels. We are more inclined to believe that intelligence and knowledge are key to problem solving. Communication and contact are valued. Jupiter can sometimes overdo it. It can amplify the negative qualities of a sign, just as it can amplify the positive traits. Its zeal and enthusiasm are well intentioned. In Gemini, negative manifestations include inconsistency, too many ideas without a plan to put into action, gossip, information overload, fickleness and indecision. However, Jupiter's higher vibration seeks perspective. Jupiter's perspectives is not a detached, analytical or detailed view of any given situation, but an overview, a look at the big picture. Ideally, with Jupiter, we are able to rise above pettiness, trivial concerns, inconvenience. Where Jupiter transits another chart or a country's chart is generally where you tend to find joy in this stage of your development. One aspect of Jupiter's lessons thousands of malefic effects in a birth chart. It blesses the person with the significance of that house it passes through. Jupiter is ruling two signs, Sagittarius and Pisces. Also, we will have major transits, major aspects that Jupiter forms during its transit through the sign of Gemini. For example, Jupiter in Gemini will square Saturn retrograde in Pisces on August 19 this year. Also, Jupiter retrograde in Gemini will square Saturn in Pisces on December 24. But I will talk about these aspects later on when will happen, before will happen. Let's see how the influence of this aspect works for each ascendant. Ascendant in Aries. Jupiter passes through your third house and activates your daily routine significantly. Your relationship with neighbors, siblings will be activated also. You will participate in any auspicious event with them. Your role at work will increase there is a possibility of a change in location. Your luck and finances will increase this year. Do not let yourself be influenced by prejudice. Do not spend more and do not impose yourself to your advantage. Plan effectively for gain, but do not exaggerate and do not go to extremes. Do not engage in projects that you cannot accomplish or fulfill. Otherwise, you will suffer loss of position, separation from loved ones, fear, obstacles in business or profession, and poor health. Travel will be much more frequent than before. Wedding bells for a single heiress also. You can expand your knowledge and skills and find much joy in this process. During this long-term trend of about a year, Neighbors or relatives could be particularly helpful in your life. 
you express your ideas with more enthusiasm and positivity, and they are well received. You can understand more complex subjects and issues and can explain them in a way understood easily by others. Teaching, writing or providing information could thrive now. Higher education courses and perhaps even travel opportunities could arise during this cycle. All through, the trend might be to move more often around your home rather than venture far. Many of you will benefit from courses if you are not already doing so, and those already involved in studies will benefit more than usual during this period. You may decide to buy a new car or transportation opportunities will present themselves, making it much easier for you to get from point A to point B. Gifts, benefits or other opportunities may arise through visits, short trips, messages, emails or through contacts with siblings, classmates and neighbors. It's likely that some sort of positive news or announcement is part of the picture. If you are an author, teacher or in another communication position, you'll find more opportunities to advance your profession as your creative ideas flow so smoothly. If you are a student, you can have success in examinations. If you are in business, you are likely to find that sales are especially solid. Overall, you find much joy in communication, learning and socializing. You may spend more time in around your neighborhood and less or no time traveling long journeys. Learning may involve a back to basis approach or a return to a previous interest or hobby. You may actively teach others your personal philosophy or other bodies of knowledge. You may prefer to pursue your own interests rather than participate in formal studies. You may be particularly prolific in writing. There may be generosity between family, siblings or neighbors, or benefits and opportunities that arise through them. You may be better at promoting or, or spreading your ideas. When Jupiter is challenged, you may be slightly more prone to accidents. You may procrastinate or exaggerate. You may take on so much that you don't know where to start, or you may learn so much about many things but not enough about any one subject in particular. For those with ascendant in Taurus, Jupiter is transiting your second house of money, values and, and possessions. You may see any enjoy benefits related to your earning ability and your value system. Jupiter in this sector of your chart could very well bring a profitable and productive year. You are likely to feel more confident and enthusiastic about your ability to earn a living and this can help you attract more income as long as you are realistic. You may decide to develop your talents during this Jupiter cycle, which in turn enhances your earning ability. Your income could increase and there is the possibility to improving your future financial situation. However, you may be equally tempted to spend on yourself, choosing to enhance your nest or personal assets reserve to feel more secure. Past financial issues could be solved during this period if you are using them wisely, developing budgets and finding ways to better manage your resources. You may add to your possessions, you may be the receipts of a large item or gift, or a major purchase of or sale could occur now. A significant gift or bonus could come your way. This is a good time to work with financial institutions, ask for a rise or apply for a loan. You may need to curb your tendency to overspend, feeling good 
might lead you to shop temporarily forgetting about the future. Since Jupiter rules your 8th house, your sense of wealth could increase due to a significant other. Whether it's just splitting expenses or pooling your resources. Some of you may earn income by managing others' money or talents or resources. Some may receive financial aid for education. The focus now is on what makes you feel secure and the growth that speaks most to you at this time is the ones that measurable such as in terms of monetary values or personal assets. When Jupiter is challenged, you might be tempted to overspend, perhaps to show off. So avoid overspending during this transit. Ascendant in Gemini. Jupiter is transiting exactly your ascendant, your first house. You will feel more self-assured. If you act wisely, you will be able to avoid unfavorable circumstances such as high expenses and unfavorable journeys, increasing enemies or competition, let's say. People towards whom you feel attracted or involved will be beneficial for you through mutual assistance. Advancement towards the spiritual side, a lucky ear personally. Self-confidence will pave the way for progress during the transit year. If you are unmarried, you can expect to tie the marital knot during this period. Your personality is more expansive, more exuberant and more enthusiastic. This transit intensifies your optimism and generosity and the entire cycle has the potential to be a relaxed, lucky and hopeful period in your life. You meet life with a fresh, determined attitude. What happened in the past is not very important to you now. It's the future that you are chasing now. Events occur that help you overcome problems that previously seemed difficult or even impossible. Now you have a completely different perspective on life and you are not overly concerned with details. You make a distinct impression on others and your degree of sympathy increases. Advancing your personal ambitions and interests comes more easily during this period. Sometimes you might feel like there are no limits. However, you should beware of becoming too full of yourself or excessively selfish. There is also the risk of excess and other forms of excessive behavior. Jupiter can bring endings in your life for you to grow. All through, these are generally mild. A carefree attitude is different from an irresponsible one. And the fine line between them is certainly something to consider. You feel much freer to be yourself and others accept you more easily. Since Jupiter rules also the, your seventh house, this transit can bring a partner into your life or a current partner could be solidified or if you have a partnership now, will be more powerful this partnership. A partner could be on your side in a way or another. For those with ascendant in Cancer, Jupiter is in your 12th house. So, will significantly increase expenses. The best way to cope is to plan your budget before making any purchases. Some of you may visit distant countries for professional matters. If you are unwell, then most of the days this year will be spent visiting hospitals and if the situation becomes serious, surgery may be necessary. Changing residence is also possible. It's time to reassess some of your personal goals. It's important to take matters into your own hands and change your own plans. Otherwise, circumstances will force you to do in a way or another. It's possible 
that your personal relationships may undergo changes, paving the way for new ways of self-expression. There is uh, a benefit for all kinds of activities that occur behind the scenes or otherwise privately, as well as the realm of the soul. This is a cycle where you become more compassionate, empathetic and sensitive or enter into a deeper connection with these traits. Also, it's about spiritual protection. Maybe it's time when you can rid yourself of self-destructive tendencies, bad behaviors, deeply rooted fears and ingrained tendencies towards guilt feelings. You are more able to tap into your subconscious and in fact confronting your fears can be quite enjoyable during this period. Charity, anonymous donation, volunteering and helping others without expecting reward will be much fulfilling in this cycle. By helping others, you are actually helping yourself. Work involving serving others can start now and bring you much joy. Your dream world can be particularly rich, lighter, more useful and more intuitive. Meditation and retreats can be particularly helpful now as they regenerate and rejuvenate your spirit. Much pleasure can grow can be found in solitude and contemplation. You may embark on studies of a new era, spirituality, dream interpretation or research in this cycle. Some people enter into a private romance during this period. You may develop a skill or attitude in a behind the scenes manner with people who don't know your true identity or privately. You have chance to regain your inner faith now. Since Jupiter rules also the partnership sector of your solar of your chart, it may be easier than usual to enter into a close relationship, possible of a private nature, or an existing partnership may require more advice from you and more time to be involved in. For those with ascendant in Leo. Leo, ascendant people have Jupiter transit their 11th house. It's the most beneficial house in any chart. So there can be increases in your income. Your social life will become more active. Excellent opportunities may arise. This is the time when you are present yourself with a more responsible, perhaps serious and confident personality in front of others. You will be more open to receiving practical and realistic advice. Also, you can ask help and you will receive it. The main drawback of this transit is that any uncertainty in your life creates stress and guilt. You will make effort to reduce this uncertainty and succeed in doing so. You know your responsibilities and how to fulfill them. If you are single, then this year promises to bring someone special into your life. You will actively participate in or attend any significant event. It's a good year to ex experience gambling. This transit brings benefits and fresh energy to networking activities and doing extensive and long-term goals, clubs, to participate in the social life, to be involved in any kind of organizations. You can rely on your friends to, for their help and support, and your cycle of friends could certainly expand during this fruitful transit. Your long-term goals and desires tend to be extensive and perhaps unusual or premature now. You may particularly enjoy ideas for the future. Achieving your goals tend to come more easily. Others especially appreciate your advice and offer turn to you for help. You may become more active with friends or in your community. You may have opportunities to join or lead clubs or groups. Group activities and associations could be a avenues for fulfilling your own goals. 
You may find special joy in sharing a common cause or ideals with others. You are more confident and inclined to believe that if you want something, it will happen. Income from your business or career is likely to increase. You are likely also to be full of new ideas. You may feel more tolerant of others in general and of differences in values. Stretching beyond your personal cycle can certainly open doors and bring joy into your life during this cycle. Sometimes Jupiter can bring too much of a good thing and you may find your social calendar crowded or what you have taken on more friends or goals that you can reasonably manage. So measure your effort in this involved in when you involved in all kinds of activities. During this cycle, romance and friendships or group associations can be tied together. Some of you may find more romantic opportunity through friends, groups and acquaintances. Some may bring creative energy or skills into a group setting. Ascendant in Virgo. Jupiter is in your 10th house and is beneficial for progress in work but can bring also obstacles or delay. It's crucial to avoid to use your authority to become dominant or arrogant. Some people may have issues with this with authority figures and this time as the period may indicate an inflated ego, meaning you believe you are much more than you are without anything to support this belief. If you start to believe you are truly significant or special, sit down and evaluate your actual accomplishments to see if they justify this feeling. Your energy and patience will be tested. You can expect a promotion at work, public recognition or appreciation from your colleagues during this period, as long as you don't fall into the trap described above as long as you don't fall into the trap of inflated ego. You'll also feel more confident in yourself, of course, and this can be one of the few times in your life when you are truly aware of what you can achieve. Some of you may need to travel for work or deal with foreigners. Expenses will increase. Stress will affect your health if you don't care about your mental um, balance between activity and rest. Something significant could happen now or circumstances are such that your career or your vocation expands and you find more joy and fulfillment in your work. You may enjoy more freedom or even responsibilities in your career. Whichever way your career shifts, you are likely to feel excited Integrity, openly and honesty will help you now. The more willing you are to step into the limelight, the more positive the rewards will be. Now is not the time to be shy. Also, Jupiter rules your fourth house. Home and career or reputation could be linked together this year. For example, you might work from home or with real estate or in the areas related to domestic life or family issues may become more public in some way. Ascendant in Libra. Jupiter will transit your ninth house and provides opportunities for extensive travel, learning and also teaching others, either in a formal or informal way. Good prospects for growth for writers or individuals involved in media on promotion of something. This transit also opens the doors of opportunities. Take the initiative and start those projects. Excellent for financial matters and good for spending money to promote your business or personal interest. Enhances understanding of your personal assets. Beneficial for improving your appearances and surroundings. The first impression you make on others will be very well received. Good for socializing, fun, travel and artistic pursuits. Good luck in all aspects. 
honors and advancement. The desire for adventure is growing. If you feel a little restless, be careful not to overestimate. The main, the main effect of this transit is to expand your consciousness so much that you can no longer live with your old prejudices and beliefs. You need to know rather than believe. And the more you can replace belief with knowledge, the better for you. Philosophy, metaphysics and religion are typically studies associated with this period. You will encounter them not only as books, but as real issues in your life. Business transactions, especially those are at a distance and involving advertising and promotion, are likely to be profitable now. Legal matters could also work in your favor, or long-lasting legal issues could be resolved now. Some of you will seek legal advice and find it particularly helpful now. It's a great time for positive interaction with family members through aliens. Your mind is more expansive and tolerant and stress levels are lower than usual. You are less prone to worry about insignificant details. Ascendant in Scorpio. Jupiter will be in your 8th house. This transit will make you feel restless for no reason. You'll be bothered by tiresome travels, large expenses, and in extremes, there is possibility of loss of income. Um, but also, this position promises income from other sources. You are likely to benefit from other people's resources or from deposits you have made previously including insurance or mutual funds, pensions or whatever other kind of investments. Your interest in mystical subjects will increase. It will also offer you a much greater understanding of the psychological patterns operating in your life. If you have recently gone through a time of psychological stress or are facing now, this period will contribute to you to process of to go to a process of healing within you. Also, it's about intimacy. You may see benefits if any of these areas governed by the 8th house. Shared finances, shared resources, loans, taxes, sexuality, intimacy, healing, personal transformation, research, investigation and psychological issues. You are better able to assist friends and loved ones who are facing a crisis. You can be supportive. Your ability to understand and accept anything deeply meaningful or significant is enhancing now. And you instinctively realize that the path to healing is to confront your fears. Financial gains may come through a partnership or there may be an increase in your partner's income. Sexual opportunities are likely to abound or your focus on a partner becomes more expansive, warm and intimate. Also, Jupiter is ruling your second house. Your sense of security and your wealth may increase through a relationship with someone special or through a partner during this transit of Jupiter. Income sources come also through counseling work or managing others' finances or resources. Ascendant is Sagittarius. Jupiter is transiting your seventh house. This will activate your one-on-one -on -one relationships. If you are experiencing dissatisfaction in your relationships, then this year is likely to highlight this aspect. It's also a good time to seek professional help, especially from a lawyer, but also from a doctor or consultant, as well as personal counselors. Don't take this period for granted, as you might overlook some details that could trip you up. Also, don't try to get more than your fair share, nor overestimate what you are about to receive. This could get you in a trouble. It's about moderation and how you deal in your partnerships. Sudden gains through gambling or otherwise are to be expected. A new vehicle may arrive. If you marry under this influence, your partner is likely to be slightly older and already settled. Your respect for this person is one of the main factors that attract you. This is a sign of a person more experienced than you. 
So you have something to learn from this person. So you could benefit from marriage, serious partnerships, mutual agreements, business partnerships, negotiations and or contract agreements. This is a year when you are more likely to establish or solidify a significant partnership or you could improve an existing relationship. You can negotiate more successfully than usual and if applicable you are much more likely to win in legal matters or other forms of official negotiations. Financial benefits could possibly come through partnerships. For most of you already in a partnership, you are likely to find more joy in close relationships due to a more relaxed and tolerant attitude toward others and partnerships in general. Relational issues from the past could be solved more easily now, and less serious disputes are likely to be settled during this cycle. The need for freedom in your social relationships is strong. However, if it's not provided, you may feel constrained and restless. You may find yourself taking on the role of a consultant or advisor, or you may benefit from help from the same. Good publicity may come your way. Receive good reviews, feedback or opportunities. Ascendant in Capricorn. Jupiter is strengthening your sixth house, is increasing your restlessness, creating discord with those around you. You'll be bothered by high expenses. Health will also suffer. You can use the extra energy by sincerely fulfilling your duties. Very often the requirements of factors related to this house conflict with personal growth, especially with freedom. Selfish needs are satisfied here only at a level that most people cannot easily understand. But with this Jupiter here, you can progress in life precisely because of these aspects. Work is very satisfying and enjoyable for you now, giving you a sense of purpose and structure to your life. Usually this is an excellent period for health as Jupiter gives you body, physical strength and vitality. However, you need to be careful not to gain weight in both favorable senses of the term, as this is a transit of physical growth. Any type of service you can offer is likely to go well now, primarily because you find more joy in being of service. You are more successful in engaging good workers, if applicable, and workplace improvements are likely. You find more pleasure in the work you do and it's easier than usual to find a job now. You may get a new job during this cycle if you want. Work tends to be very available for you. The more integrity, straightforwardness and honesty you bring to your service and work, the more reward you will receive. Health is likely to thrive this year and medical procedures or programs, treatments if necessary, are more likely to be successful. Some people can get new pet during this cycle. Also, Jupiter is ruling your 12th house now. Some of you may bring a certain level of sacrifice, anonymity or volunteering to your workplace or you may work in a healing arts field. Ascendant in Aquarius, Jupiter is transiting your fifth house. So it's about education, higher learning, uh, romantic relationships, relationship with your children or possibility or opportunity to have children. If you are single, Jupiter uh, helps you to find somebody important in your life. Your creative expression increases like never before. If you have children, this period will improve your relationship with them and there will be likely be many occasions when you feel proud of them. And you can provide them with everything they need to for their own development without feeling diminished in any way. The most important point about this period is that it brings you the opportunity for personal growth and increased wisdom along with greater freedom of self-expression. 
You don't feel the need to hide from the world now, even if you did before. You are expected to react only with a healthy increase in confidence and self-expression. So a fair share of fun, romance and beautiful moments await for you. Your willingness to enjoy yourself and explore your creativity brings new opportunities now. Or you may find the new path open up to explore new ways of having a fun. For example, you might meet a new friend who encourages you to go out more. Or you may find inspired by someone else's creative projects and start a new and fulfilling hobby. Love and romance may enter in your life and an existing relationship may be enhanced with humor and warmth. You might find opportunities for casual love relationships open up and some of you may feel overwhelmed by choices. Investments in stock and other speculative matters could bring profits on the long term. Healthy and wise risks are likely to pay off but beware of overconfidence in speculative investments. Pregnancy or childbirth may occur during this period, if it's the case. It's a good time to take vacation you're always wanting to take, a sabbatic year, or to try a new hobby or creative project, or explore new ways of having fun, and those of you with artistic or athletic talents may experience great success and prosperity this time. A potential negative aspect of this transit is excessive focus or attention on fun at the expense of other aspects of life. Jupiter is ruling also your 11th house. So, a friendship could become romantic or a friend or group of friends could be uh, exposing you to uh, activities or creativity, recreation or romance. Ascendant in Pisces. Jupiter is transiting your fourth house, so you will focus on providing living conditions. A favorable transit for peace and security. Your home, family, personal life, prosperity and means of transportation will experience significant improvements. You may acquire properties or make additions, modification to your home or expand your surroundings and you may gain and acquire means of transportation. Real estate investment will be rewarding, good domestic joy, relationship with your parents will be good and you may gain through them. You will feel an increase in confidence and also you will be able to manage your affairs more wisely for a better future. If you manage this period correctly, you won't feel lonely. Otherwise, you could experience pain through relationships, financial losses, fear, humiliation, false involvement, domestic unhappiness and accidents during travel. Old family issues may be solved. You may find joy in reconnecting with your roots or family traditions. That could be a family reunion, vacation, or other happy events that reconnect with your origins. Your parents may help you financially, or an inheritance is possible for some of you. You feel a greater psychological well-being now as you lose interest in worldly ambitions and activities. Also, you can make your own family now and you can have uh, a new child and uh, get married to have a make a home together. Now you see in another chart which house Jupiter is transiting Gemini and what aspect it forms with planets and important points in your natal chart. Also where the square aspect between Jupiter in Gemini and Saturn in Pisces is forming because there maybe you are forced uh, to make a decision, to make action because square aspect is about to force you uh, to make a decision, to take actions, not to wait for something. 
I'm waiting your comments and questions down below. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye bye.